Hey, what's up everybody? So if you didn't know already, John Drinks Water is not my only YouTube channel. I've been making videos pretty consistently since about 2002. That's before YouTube even existed. And in that time, I've made lots and lots of really cringy and embarrassing videos. And tonight, I'm just going to share with you guys some of the most cringy videos, in my opinion. Um, these are just videos that, like, just at random moments in my life, these will just pop into my mind and I'll just think, oh, why did I make that video? It's so embarrassing. The first example is from Talking With John, episode 22. Talking With John was like a talk show slash sketch show. That's what it was supposed to be anyway. And in episode 22, I did this really embarrassing parody of an eBay commercial. And the thing with parodies is if you parody something, it should be something that the majority of people actually know about. Like if you parody a commercial, you should parody the Dell dude or parody flow from progressive because people are aware of those and they're like very iconic things. They would be good to parody. And in this example, I parodied an eBay commercial, which probably only ran for a couple weeks. And it was just some guy singing and no one is aware of that. And like, it's not iconic at all. And this video is just super embarrassing because it's me singing and it's like really out of tune. I'm a terrible singer. This is probably the only video of me singing in existence and that will ever exist because I'm not a good singer at all. And it's just really cringy. Like there's no, there's nothing really funny about it. Things that are good. A pen for your nose. Oh. Or this brand new VCR that- Just for some reason, that video keeps popping up in my mind every now and then. It's like, why did I make that? That's so embarrassing. It's so cringy. Okay, the next super cringy video is from Talking With John, episode 9. So, in this episode, I randomly included this school project that I shot for a class when I was in middle school with some classmates in that class. And it's just a terrible video. Like... We really rushed to make this. We didn't really write a script or like really plan it out like we should have. And like I was the cameraman for a lot of the video and it was really bright out. So I was holding the video camera like right up to my face to shoot the video. And so we used the microphone built into the camera and like throughout half the video, you can hear me just breathing really, really loudly like because we used the built-in microphone and we wanted to hear the people talking like 10 feet away from the camera. So I had to increase the volume and it's just like super loud. Next we have a, a bear, a coat out of a bear. And it's a coat and it keeps you warm. So people with less money. And lastly, for the men, we have a... And we shot the video one day and then I had to have it ready to show the class the next day. And we didn't like have the advanced editing software that we have now. I used this program called ULead Video Studio and like it kept crashing. And so the whole video was just really rushed and it's just really terrible. And the, I guess the reason it's so embarrassing is because we had to show it to the class and it's like, it, I'm just breathing super loud, like, the script is terrible, there's nothing funny about it, it's just awful, and so every once in a while, this memory of this, showing this to the class, just pops in my mind, and it's like, ugh, it could have been so much better, it's so awkward and embarrassing. The next really cringy video is me doing a version of the Aristocrats joke. If you don't know what that is, they made a documentary about it, explaining it, like, the goal of the joke is just to be as offensive and, and rude and inappropriate as possible. And I did my own version of it, and it's just really, really cringy and embarrassing. And it's like, it's obvious I'm just trying to be edgy, and like, I don't have a shirt on, and I've got this stupid wig or whatever, and I don't know. Looking back, I don't find that really that funny. And, um... I think I put that video online for about two weeks and then thankfully I think I took it down and unless somebody downloaded it and has a copy of it, I don't think it exists online anymore. Um, that's one of the very few videos that I actually took down. There's there's tons and tons of really embarrassing moments in talking with John, but they're still all online. Um, yep. <laughs> I actually just took down the video. Oh, that was a good act. 
what do they call, what do you call it? Uh, the daughter says, uh, uh, we're, we're the aristocrats. The next really cringy video is actually a series of videos. I think there's 11 or 12 of these. And it's called John Harchick Movie Reviews. And it's just so stupid. I, I guess I'm just trolling people with that show. But it's really cringy because there's nothing really funny or, or entertaining about it. Like, the only really joke in the series is that about half the movies that I review, I haven't even seen. And so, I, half the time it's just me reviewing the DVD cases themselves, not the actual movies. Um, and it's just really bad. Like, because... I guess the main problem is I put John Harchick movie reviews, like that's the title. Later on, a couple years after I made it, I changed it to JH movie reviews because for a long time people kept searching Harchick on Google and that would be one of the top results. So one time I got a call from a relative of mine and they just like, they said they saw that video online because they searched Harchick and they just said like, I don't know, I think they, I think they said they didn't get it like like why am I doing that three out of five I haven't seen it but it looks pretty interesting and they, I don't know they're super long and just really really boring or I should have just planned them out I don't know but looking back they're just terrible <laughs> the next really cringy video is episode 29 of talking with John and it's not just one clip from that episode it's the whole episode it's just really really cringy I tried to do like a stand-up special for that episode. I mean, it's, it's interesting that I tried to do something different for that episode than the other episodes, but it just turned out really terrible. Like, for a joke, you need a setup and then a punchline. This whole episode is basically just a series of like setups for jokes, but no punchlines. Like, there's nothing really funny about it. Um, and I guess the reason that the reason that I consider this so cringy and that keeps popping up in my mind as like, why did I make this is because I actually <laughs> showed this to my parents. Um, and normally my parents are really supportive of my videos and, you know, really positive and stuff. But I just remember sitting there and watching this video with them and they didn't laugh a single time. They didn't smile. They didn't chuckle. Um, and so normally like if you put a video online, and you don't see the people's reaction. For some reason it doesn't stick in your mind that it's embarrassing. But when you actually sit there and watch it with people. And they don't find it funny at all. Um, you know. It just sticks in your mind as being even more cringy. I think um, at the end of the episode. They just looked at each other. And like my parents just said. Um, so what's, what's for dinner? <laughs> or something. Like normally they have something positive to say about my videos. But. At the end of that one, they just didn't have anything positive to say. Because um, there's just nothing really funny about it. I saw this one kid. He was so serious. Like, he had a cell phone in one hand, a laptop in the other. He had a pager on his head. So these are five examples of really cringy videos I've made. I could easily make a list of a hundred of these types of videos. Maybe I'll do another one in the future. Anyway. If you make videos and you want it, you want them to be funny, put some thought into them, <laughs> or um, you know, just plan them out. A lot of the time with the videos I made in the past, we would just shoot stuff and then we would say to ourselves, "Oh, we'll edit this and make it funny in, in the editing." But a lot of the time that just didn't work out, and they should have just been planned in the beginning. So. There you go, that's your lesson for today. Plan plan your stuff. And um let's drink some water.